والصلاه والسلام على رسول الله اما بعد In the famous hadith Abdullah ibn Abbas described the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and may Allah be pleased with all of the companions He said that he was the most generous of the people and he was the most generous in the month of Ramadan when Jibril used to visit him and Jibril would visit him every night in order to rehearse and to go over with him the Quran he said that the Prophet ﷺ was more generous than the indiscriminate wind. This statement of Abdullah ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with him, it describes the condition of Rasulullah wa alihi wa sallam. We have to remember that he has many characteristics. And from those characteristics is the characteristic of generosity. The Arabs, in general, they are generous people. They are a group of people who are generous. And this is one of the reasons why Allah chose those people to be the ones who the last prophet and the messenger would come from them. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Generosity was a part of their culture and it continues to be. So when the Nabi came, Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, if he happened to be stingy, bakhil, shahir, then the people would have rejected him because this was an issue that the Arabs did not tolerate generosity in al-islam so the nabi was generally generous but in the month of ramadan he became more generous and this goes to show a very important thing that generosity is a good character trait but a person's generous behavior should increase as a result of ramadan as a result of reading the quran as a result of meeting up with the religious people because Abdullah ibn Abbas may Allah be pleased with him he said that the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam he was generous but he came became more generous in the month of Ramadan when Jibril would come to meet him and Jibril would meet him to rehearse with him the Quran so if a person is reading the Quran the Quran's impact upon the person part of that impact is it should cause him to be more generous the month of Ramadan, when it comes, it is the month of Sadaqah and, and the month of Infaq, Isabilillah, giving. Jibril is from the righteous. When Jibril would come to meet him, it caused him to be more generous. So, with this being the situation that we see from this hadith, I would like to encourage you brothers to look at the month of Ramadan as a golden opportunity, as well as you sisters, a golden opportunity to give from what Allah Ta'ala has bestowed upon you. The month of Ramadan is the month of generosity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. We want to address a very important issue, bring it to your attention today, perchance, and perhaps those of us who have fallen into this, we can stop, and those of us who are not fallen into it, but we're sensitive to it, we can give dawah concerning it and encourage people not to do it. From the benefits of fasting, the fawaid of fasting, from the wisdom why we fast, is so that we as Muslims can become sensitive to what other Muslims are caused to endure on a daily basis. From the fuqara and the masakin and the muhtajin for the Muslims, those who are needy, who are fasting all the time. And these people are located in the UK. I'm in a situation where I know people who are in need of zakat and sadaqah because they don't have enough to eat. They don't have clothes to wear. They don't have a house to live in. So when we think about giving zakat and sadaqah, many people think about sending it to the Muslim world, to the third world countries, the so-called third world countries. I say, hey, look right here in the UK. The point here is, one of the things that I've witnessed we fall into in our homes in the different masajid where people break their fast is that we are wasting food, wasting water. There are those people who waste water in that each and every wudu that they make, they use two, three, four, five gallons of water for each and every wudu. And people in the Muslim world are in need of that water. And that is not the good, acceptable, religious wudu. 
they waste food at the time of al iftar, at the time of al suhoor. And when the Prophet told the people, sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam, man la yada'a al zur wa al amal bihi, laysa lillahi haja fi an yada'a ta'amu wa sharabuhu, anyone who doesn't abandon falsehood and actions of falsehood, Allah has no need for him to abandon his food and his drink. Goes to show that a person who is not fasting correctly by behaving in a particular way, his fast is not the Islamic fast. Rubba, sa'im, laysalahu min siyami in a jumr al atish. It may be that someone is fasting and he only gets benefit. The only benefit he gets is he becomes hungry and thirsty. So a person who is fasting and then he wastes food is a problem. The Prophet وسلم, he used to appreciate the ni'mah of food. Allah said in the Quran, وَإِن تَعُدُّوا نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْسُوهَا If you were to enumerate and count the favors of Allah, you would never be able to do so. And from the ni'mah of Allah is food. And the Prophet used to consider this ni'mah to a great degree. When he ate, he would lick his fingers, not leaving any of the ni'mah to remain on his fingers. When he ate, he cleaned the plate and he encouraged the Muslims to even get the sauce off of the plate. And he told us the wisdom behind it. He said, you don't know where the barakah is. Maybe the barakah is in the first luqma, the first mouthful, or the second or the third. Or maybe it's the juice and the sauce and the remains that are on the plate. He would walk to Allah and see and see a date on the ground. And he said, if it wasn't for the fact that I thought it could have been from zakat, I would have eaten it. Showing he didn't want to throw the ni'mah of Allah on the ground and leave it on the ground. So he would pick it up and give it to someone, put it in the bait of mal. Allah Ta'ala told us in the Quran, فَكُلُوا وَشْرَبُوا وَلَا تُسْرِفُوا إِنَّ اللَّهَ لَا يُحِبُّ الْمُسْرِفِينَ Eat and drink. Therefore, eat and drink and don't waste. For verily, Allah doesn't love those who waste. And finally, he mentioned in the Quran from the mini ayat, وَلَا تُبَذِّرْ تَبْذِرًا إِنَّ الْمُبَذِّرِينَ كَانُوا إِخْوَانَ الشَّيَاطِينَ وَكَانَ الشَّيْطَانُ لِرَبِّهِ كَفُورًا Don't be wasteful in what you're doing. For verily, the wasters are from the brothers of the shayateen. And the shaytan was a wretched ingrate to Allah. Kafir. Brothers and sisters, don't waste food in Ramadan or outside of Ramadan because it goes against the spirit of why Ramadan was legislated. May Allah give us and you the tawfiq. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. You are.